Hello, um, I hope everyone is enjoying the conference so far. Um, my name is Maurice. I'm one of the strategic partnerships manager at Cyclica. Uh, and my role is to lead the academic partnership program uh, through which we're sharing our technology, uh, the drug discovery platforms that we have with academic partners for free uh, for the purpose of coming up with publications as well as to pursue commercialization opportunities together. Um, so I'd like to take the next few minutes to tell a bit more about the technologies that we had developed um, to help you understand whether or not this will be a uh, good opportunity for you. Um, so about the company, uh, we are called Cyclica and we are based in Toronto in Canada. Uh, what we do here is we combine biophysics with deep learning to accelerate small molecule drug discovery. And the way we do this is through two different platforms, Ligand Express and Ligand Design. Um, so I would say the simplest way to think about these two platforms is that they are designed to support projects at different starting points depending on whether or not if you already have some hit compounds that you want to pursue. So for example, with Lagging Express, this is where we can screen any existing compounds that you have uh, against the druggable proteome um, to provide predictions into the polypharmacology of these compounds um, for you to, to be able to understand what are the potential on targets that may be causing the phenotypic output of your compounds, as well as to understand potential off target profile to help you prioritize the compounds going forward. Uh, but overall, we like in Express, we will be starting off with the mm -hmm. compounds that you already have and then provide predictions into the targets to help you understand more about the biology of these compounds. Whereas with Ligon Design, that's essentially the reverse process where we usually work with a research lab that uh, have a defined protein target of interest and now are looking for compounds that can either inhibit or activate these, these proteins. Um, with Ligon Design, the way this works is that we will look at the structural data that's available for the protein target and using that as a basis to go through virtual screening of different libraries and then from there provide a short list of compounds that are predicted to interact with the protein for our academic partners to be able to follow up uh, and verify the activity of those compounds in experiments. Um, so that's in a nutshell what we can offer to the academic partners. Um, and something that's in common for both of these platforms uh, are the underlying machine learning algorithms that we're using to run the platforms, uh, which is called Matchmaker and Poem. Um, so to briefly talk about Matchmaker, uh, this is the algorithm that we're using to predict for drug target interactions. Um, and a unique feature about this algorithm is that for every single compound we look at, whether these are compounds that you already have or compounds from the different libraries that we work with as we go through the screening, uh, we can screen every single compound against the druggable human proteome. So that's covering roughly 8,700 targets right now at the moment. Um, and the reason why we want to take this protein wide approach is to be able to look into the polypharmacology of these compounds so that we can control for and predict for not just the on target profile, but also to be able to control for and predict for uh, any off target profile early on as well. Um, and this algorithm was trained on two distinct data set. Uh, one is on the various structured data that's available on the protein targets, and these come from mostly uh, public databases like the Protein Data Bank. And at the same time, this is also trained on millions of drug target interactions that are documented in different databases uh, like Stitch and Campbell. Um, so I would say the way to visualize Matchmaker is I can imagine we're linking structured data that's available for the protein targets with existing known drug target interactions. And then from there to train the algorithm to understand what is a drug target interaction and then be able to transfer those learnings onto a new compound or a new target that you may be interested in looking at. Um, so long story short, over the past few years, we've done several comparison studies um, to verify the matchmaker technology, and you can find a list of literature on our website. Um, and I would say really the focus on matchmaker is the focus on polypharmacology here, where we can look into uh, not just the on targets, but also the off target profile. On the other hand, the second algorithm that we have, which is called POEM, um, this is more of a ligand based approach through which we're uh, training the algorithm to be able to predict for specific atomic properties of interest. And here you can also see uh, we published this article online uh, last year, and please feel free to check out the article for more detail as well. Uh, but I would say the takeaway on the second algorithm is that uh, in addition to controlling for the target profile, we can then also use POEM to be able to further identify compounds that may possess a particular uh, atomic properties of interest uh, out of the nine models that we have currently built. 
Um, to wrap up everything with the academic partnership program, the goal here is to be able to work with academic subject experts working on drug discovery, and then from there share access to uh, ad lagging design lagging express with them for free for the purpose of coming up with publications together, as well as to jointly pursue any commercialization efforts. Um, and lastly, if there are any funding opportunities that might be available, uh, we'll be also happy to provide the support um, so that we can get the grants together and expand upon our collaboration. Um, so that's everything I wanted to share with you today. And uh, hopefully I was able to give you a very quick overview about how things work from our end. Uh, and uh, if there's any interest to uh, collaborate with us, please feel free to reach out to us uh, through our website. Thank you very much.